Hi guys, hi traders. Um, I decided to record this extra video to do a very quick explanation on why the correct score market and how that works and what's the reasoning behind it and, and what really I'm doing in play as I've been receiving some questions uh, around it. So I'll try to make it short, not very long, and I'm hoping that you know it will be, uh, it will be helpful. So the correct score market is linked to, uh, to all major markets available uh, on the exchange, right? Mainly to Majots and to, and to goals markets. Uh, if the draw price drops on the match odds, uh, you will see uh, draw scores uh, dropping as well. Uh, if, for example, under 2.5 goals uh, odds drop uh, and the draw drops, then you can see the price lowering on the correct score for nil nil and and one one, for example. So it is, it is all linked. Um, the advantage is that, and I'm taking the example of Portugal against Germany, where. I don't really know who will win. And if I look at the match odds market, I don't really know whether to back Portugal or back Germany. If I back both of the teams on the match odds, effectively laying the draw, that's um, small reward liability ratio, right? Technically. Um, Again, for if we look at over 2.5 goals and under 2.5 goals, for example, in this case, it's a 50-50 shot. So, and I don't know, you know, it can it can be 2-0, it can be 3-1. I, I just don't know what happens here. Um, and if I back over 2.5 and the game ends 2-0, uh, I, I lose my stake. Um, so in the correct score market you can link various scenarios right you can cover portugal win and you can cover germany win you can cover both teams to score yes and both teams to score no and you can get a fairly decent reward if you are correct because the odds on the correct score market are are often uh, pretty uh, pretty good and uh, as if you know, and I assume you know how betting exchanges work, you can back, you can lay. Uh, but for those who don't know, if you back a selection, you you essentially um, predict that this will happen. So if I'm to back nil two for Germany for uh, ten quid, sorry, for ten quid, what's happening with my keyboard? Okay, my keyboard is dead. Uh, okay, for 10 quid, uh, you will see that um, I will win if it's nil two, I will lose 10 if it's, um, if it's not. So, backing uh, adds profit to the score that you back and deducts um, the profit from all other scores. In, in this case, we had zero on the other scores, and now we're looking at at um, minus 10. If we were to lay this, uh, and f 14 odds would be very big odds to lay, but let's say 1-1. One, one. If we were to lay 1-1, one, one, we bet against this score. So um, you can see that what happens is that we are adding liability to the score not adding profit we are adding liability this time to the score and and um we are adding quite a lot at these odds but at the very same time we are adding profit to all other scores 9.50 is because of the five percent um commission if I go just, you know, I can take the um, commission 
uh, now the commission is not included so you will see that it's uh, it's 10 but i like to i tend to have this turned on to to see where where i stand so in a correct score th trade if we look at um, portugal against germany right and if we um, if we select these couple of scores because you can see that we can we can select couple of scores and we still win uh nice amounts of money if we are correct so we can we can select four scores we can select five scores and if we are if any of these scores is hit you know we will we'll get a nice winner um the thing is that it's not set and forget right so it's not that you know i am uh, leaving the trade and keeping my fingers crossed because the get that this will be the final scores because in trading you you want to take benefit from from the odds movements so if it's two nil two for example and it's 75th minute of the game then the nil two odds will be i don't know probably around two two ish um depending on how many goals are expected what's happening on the on the pitch etc but uh, they they will the, the point is that they will be significantly lower than than they are now like 13 and so so you can lay uh effectively 2-0 and uh let's say the the yeah let me try to do this i have to um I have to do it like this because my keyboard is dead for some reason. Um, okay, let's say it's 2.5. The The odds are 2.5 on 2 nil. You can see that I can lay 2 nil. I can by as you remember by low if i lay a score i add liability to that that score so you can see that my profit was reduced but it's there is it's still a profit because the 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 green was huge and i have added uh 25 green to all other scores effectively greening out the whole market right i'm not able to uh, to lose if if it's let's say if it stays to nil i win 15 if it goes to one two i win 60 if it goes to nil three it's um it's almost one quid um so um so so this is essentially the plan in short and the ideal situation is when for example you have you hit a score let's say you have nil two and the game hits nil two in the second half of the game and you have nil three and one two covered so you're sitting on a green uh, on nil two but also if another goal is scored you you are looking at uh, that still at the green because you have you know green on both nil three and nil th nil two one two sorry so th this is the example right let's say on the 70th minute it's nil two i can now decide depending on what's happening do i want to lay do i want to reduce this profit and you know add my green to nil three and to nil two and at the very same time reduce the minus 18 liabilities on on other scores because i can see that third goal is likely to be scored or i let the trade run the game is slow uh, there are no chances um i'm happy with with my 57 and uh, you know even if another goal is scored um, i will be happy the only danger to that is that you know if that third goal is scored very quickly um you have to lay because you don't have you know f other scores covered so if it's nil three in 73rd minute with 17 minutes to go you need to exit the trade because if 
Germany scores fourth goal, you're you're dead, right? Your trade is over, and you will be looking for a for a loss. So decisions being made in play are very important here. Um, of course, the scenario that I'm presenting here is the ideal one. Um, in the same way, if you have one one, uh, one two, and uh, and two one backed, uh, it's a very comfortable position to be in uh, if if it's one one and it's if it's the second half of the game. Um, if it's one one in the first ten minutes of the game, that's a that's a uh, different story because the the one one odds won't drop they will go up and um and therefore uh you know you can't lay um i mean you can lay but you will you will uh, drop to to a unhealthy red on 1-1 one, one. you will add profit on 1-2 one, two and 2-1 two, but that won't be much um, and so let's say 1-1 um, one, one. it's um, yeah it won't allow me because um, uh, I, I would need to place my bet first and, and then uh, ask for a, a higher price maybe it will one second if I go here, and it doesn't allow me. But uh, yeah, if I was so, let's say the odds moved uh, to uh, one second. That's one second. Let's say okay. Let's say the odds drifted to. Um, 11 if the odds drifted to 11 and if you placed a 10 lay bet you're adding 100% liability to 1-1 one, one. so you had 30 around 30 profit you would now be looking at 73 loss yes you add green to 1-2-2-1 one, two, two, one, and uh, you reduce liability on other scores but you know if the game stays 1-1 one, one, you would be looking in a, in a heavy at a heavy loss so gotta be careful here not to um, overstake this and really to avoid as in any approach really to avoid you know these um, these uh, heavy losses okay it's um, it, it is sometimes better to accept the 100 percent loss and move on uh, there will be next trades uh, then uh, rather than trying to get out of the trade trying to prove the market that you were right with your predictions and trying to desperately um, uh, to to get out get out of it with with a green figure and instead uh, getting a very you know big hit with um, with 70 or 100 quid um, loss um, yeah so very quickly I, again I don't want this video to to last 30 minutes or so uh, so this is in general on, on a very high level how that works um, what I'm trying to do in play if you have any questions feel free to contact me I'm hoping that this you will find this video useful again I will answer all your questions and uh, have a very good um, weekend bye bye